A spring with k equals 150 newtons per meter is on an incline with theta equal to 54 degrees. The spring is compressed, so you push down on the block until it's right at this position here. And that, that displacement will be 0 0.060 meters, and then it's released. The question is, what is the velocity of this box where it was first compressed, so at this point here, once the box is pushed down, we release it, so the spring then pushes the box up, and at this point it is no longer in contact with the spring. The spring can only go so far. This is a fully relaxed position, and the box then takes off. We want to find out the velocity at that point. So we use conservation of energy, and once it's compressed, it has elastic potential energy, it also has gravitational potential energy. When it reaches this point here, the spring is fully relaxed, so we no longer have elastic potential energy, but we do have kinetic energy. The object is moving, and of course we still have potential energy as we've returned back to the original point. So we're trying to find velocity, so we isolate that term on the left-hand side, move the other terms around a bit, and then we multiply through by 2, divide by m, and then go ahead and take the square root. At this point you should be able to do that in one step like what was done right here. We then simplify this expression. h minus h0, those are the two absolute heights of the box at this position and this position. So we just replace that with delta h. We now have, after we multiply through by 2 here, and k, this term, and what we're going to do next is recognize that delta H, the height right here, this angle here is theta by alternate interior angles. So this height is going to be the hypotenuse times the sine of this angle. So we now have 2G delta X sine theta. So this is our algebraic solution. There's our answer. You get that far and your teacher is going to give you most of the credit. We now put all the numbers in and we come up with an answer of velocity equals 3.5 meters per second.